So another best of three out of group D in the round of 32 of the WGL July Open Qualifier. Damn, I got that all. Nice. Good job. We have uh, two Chinese players again. We don't know anything about In Vain except that he's a Night Elf and he's from China. Herc is his opponent. We of course know a lot more about him as he is R Remo's favorite play player of all time. At this point, I think it's fair to say that it is that way. So let's go in game and have some fun with the two. For the winner of this best of three, the day is already over. And they will be playing tomorrow again when the decisions will be made in the open qualifiers. It's 0-0, zero, zero, Huck in the blue, starting in the bottom left against the Night Elf in vain, who's going for the keeper on Northern Isles. So Huck became famous just because of this matchup, or especially because of this matchup, not just because, as he is a pretty good player uh, across the bank. Will be interesting to see the progress of especially the three young orcs, Huck, Lingwagwa, and Ice Orc in this qualifier. They were getting quite close already to qualify for WGL. Barely making it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So we have an Invo Potion for this Keeper, a Blade Master on Huck's side. What made him so special was movement in the early, uh, not sacrificing the grunts all the time and then the pushes on tier 2 with shaman later raiders and a lot of grunts with upgrades oh an ac is between 250 and 1k hmm, maybe worth it <laughs> maybe worth it but i mean when is it hot in hamburg anyway twice a year or so, so I'm suffering through this now. Or I have to get a lady who just stands next to me with a fan. That would be nice. Oh, Huck is getting the kill on Invane's side of the map. Decent blocks, decent damage, but there's five heal selves that uh, makes it easy for Huck to heal up. Good inventory for the keeper, by the way. Level two and a half, that's improvable, but not bad at all. Not a bad start for Invain at all. Just a little sad for him that uh, the experience got denied there. We have a Huntress transition, pretty standard thus far. Juan comes in trying time to switch the race. Oh boy, I forbid you to switch your race. I will come to in whatever city you live in and slap you in the face if you the switch your race. Idiot. <clears throat> so Blade Master comes in for the harass. A little too early, maybe. But since there's no expansion on Invane's side, I mean, why not? He has no other point of attack, basically. Oh, oh there's an... Uh, there's a watch award in the base and it's all blocked. Can he walk through this? Yeah, of course he's in Woodblock. He can walk through this, but there's more Entangle. Not willing to use it. And the Keeper gets close to level 3. Just one more camp and he gets that important level. Nice save by in vain. A player's forces are under attack. He's not playing bad, man. I've never seen a game of his before. I just know that he's playing on Saturday in the EPC, the Emperor Penguin Championship. <laughs> um, so yeah, cool to see him doing well so far. So what to do with tier two now? We have an expansion coming up, but it's only halfway. Oh. And no second engine of war. Old school, attack. in quotes, alchemist, like 1.30-esque. And Huck is finally getting... No, some kills. Yeah, he sees this archer. Acid bomb comes in. Poison ivy. Oh, I haven't seen that combo in a while. Got nerfed, but still. Blade Master melts against this. Has, like, a good amount of healing still. And in vain is losing HP and not units, and that's important. Getting level 3 now, finally. 
We have a large and a beastery. Beastery first. That's a. I should reduce the usage of the word weird. That is a rare build by Hug. Usually it's the other way around. You go Spirit Lodge, you still focus on the Grunts instead of Raiders. And try to get the Shaman in as fast as possible. Interesting. No upgrades, not even a... Ah, okay, we do have a Warmill. So reinforce defenses first. Struggling a little with resources at the moment. Ooh, Book of the Dead and no AoE to spell in vain. Might have a good game here on Northern Isles, but for that to work, he has to get the Expo up. That's always the case for Night Ops against Orc these days. Do we see a second engine of war? Yeah, mass tier one basically with upgrades as well. And Huck is getting ready to creep here. Forces are under attack. First push by in vain. Expecting an expansion which he could easily kill with the Book of the Dead. Reinforced defenses is ready, otherwise this item would have been... Wait, what? There was a wyvern. He's not going raiders. He's going wyvern. Pretty sick. Lulz this blade master. Killing the expo on his own. Withdrawing, but man, that's a bit of a delay. The Wyvern, I don't know. They can have heavy impact if they're not contested and if they find some time. But that's not the case here. Maybe he can annoy a little. Buy time for the Shadow Hunt to get the Greater Mana, which is amazing. And the question is, is this just, just distraction? Will he focus yeah, more on Wyvern? He is supply stuck at the moment. Mistake by Hug. For a little bit at least. And so far, it didn't do too much. So, Huck... It's, it's kind of forced to expand as well. Sends over a peon already. Huh. Low levels, though. That will be a problem. <laughs> Plus 21 on the keeper. Ay, 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 ay. I like how focused uh, in vain is with upgrades. 2 and 0 almost ready. Draw protection, nice. There's nothing else remaining, but the flute is a damage boost here. 48 versus 51 supply. The first purge comes in, and he punishes this uh, positioning with a huntress kill, most likely. And that is level 3 for the SH. Nice. So he's pushing with the 50 supply. He has zero, 0 upgrades, actually. I thought he would be going for one already. That's a good timing, because in Vayne's expansion... Yeah, it's ready, but the gold mine is not entangled. This didn't pay off at all. Wyvern is still there, but a bunch of archers. The block line is not really that good. Book of the Dead, use and the scroll of protection. Keeper is forced into the invul already. Se uh, Wyvern repositioning a little. Ah, oh, nice. The lightning shield, but Entangle has to break through this with an invul potion as well. Shadow Hunter has still so much mana, and everything is falling apart, especially the Huntress in the front. But also, Hug is losing way more than he should. Shaman down, Grunt about to fall, and he holds. Yes, he lost a couple of hunts, but easy to re-establish them or to to get them back on the battlefield with Players double engine of war attack. so fast. And Hawkman, those were a lot of losses. This beast to rebuild, I'm not a fan. He efficiently built a Kodo Beast and a Wind Rider. Ah, that's it. Late Master has a claw. Okay. What else did he find? Ah, Lightning Shield, I guess. The problem now is the Meat Shield is gone. Arches will be exposed. The town is under siege. And he's only now started, 
starting to mine really. Alchemist is not level 3, Blade Master is, critical strike damage increases by basically uh, 80% or so. And it's time to slaughter these archers. Yes, the Serpent Wards are not that good against him, but the Lightning Shield absolutely is. Casting it twice, heal scroll against it. Dealing with the illusion fairly quickly, also with the Wyvern, but he's dropping in supplies so hard. It's basically equal, 50-50 at 45. And in the meantime, there's a counter expansion. Will we see an engine of war to harass this? No, just scouting at the moment. Thank you, Der Dash, for the Prime sub and Zarathustra for the three month sub. Heal scroll again goes to Hug. And illusions on the Blade Master. Man, this is a. Ah! <laughs> he tried to sneak in an AP! But the Wyvern sees it. So this expo should be safe. I don't think Invain is in a position to push. Not against Serpent Wards and Lightning Shield and Heal Scrolls and an Invul Potion. Huck is playing a, like a great control once again, like map control. Thank you, Dylan Bro, for the eight month resub. A town is under siege. Okay. Push is coming in again. Could you please repeat with pl plus 21 damage? Man, it's the keeper! 24, actually. So, man, this is a backstab if I ever saw one. Two kills right away, and that was a big one. No damage aura anymore. Wow! The speed of the dispel! How fast was that? Lightning shield is gone, and where's the damage? Huck is falling apart against this mass archer. Keeper and alchemist are trashing the orc. Little micro mistakes, but he's focusing on the Shadow Hunter 100% in potion swap, but the Blade Master is out of mana. This in vain kid. He's getting himself trapped, actually. Boom. Wait, one more hit. Oh no! No, the archer last shot, and the Blade Master is gone. Ouch! That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. And he holds again. And still has 50. 2-0 upgrades. And a lot of production going on for Hug. He's pumping from all three production buildings and he's still at 43 supply. He has nothing on the field. Oh boy, if Remo sees this VOD tomorrow, he gonna be mad. Boom, down is the expansion. Didn't even pay off. 160 gold was mined from that. And the Wyvern had no impact at all. So what can he do now? First Raider coming in for the siege damage. Blade Master is absent. Thank you, Der Langfinger, for the 4-month resub. And Laser Pew for the 3-month. The Keeper. Huck still with good shop control. I give him that, but the early beastery, I really don't know, man. And in Vayne's army is getting scary. Get some Moonwell here, Moon-esque to defend. So high level orc heroes have to carry at this point. There's no other solution. Gets a panel of energy. Someone wants that this game lasts a little longer. Me included. Blade is back as well. Kodo is back as well. Can Huck find the time? I really like that he's focusing on creeping also a little aggressively on the map. He crept this one before. Oh no, he didn't. Where did he creep before? Something big. I forgot. Um, but okay, with that... 
We're gonna get uh, no level up, but a big item. Claw plus 12. <laughs> We're at 36. That is ridiculous. Imagine he played a demon hunter. That guy could single-handedly win this game at this point. So, TP. No lightning shield casted. Are there wisps? I mean, in the main, main in the mine, obviously. But that's about it. No tier three defense upgrades Players are coming. I like that. And he's trying to get this expo up again, but there's a wisp scouting it immediately. But again, the shop control. Double heal scroll. We saw double heal scroll win games for Hug today before in the game against Yumiko in the winner's quarterfinals. So he has a little bit of meat shield, but I feel like the alchemist is out of position. Uses the illusions once again, but lack of lightning shield so far. There we go. Feels a little late, but I guess it's okay. But those were the only two wisps. Now it's time for right, uh, Lightning Shield to rain. This one grunt gets focused immediately, but gets the attention. Nice counter with uh, the Entangle to block the Blade Master. Now we have more wisps. Heal spray as well. Man, Huck is again in a world of trouble. Level 4 for the Blade now, though. He had a 1-1-1 one, one, one build before, so that should be Critical Strike, I guess. A level 5 Keeper with this inventory. And he's still mining. Again, defending this. Treant's coming in for damage. Constantly the Wyvern is lacking in the fight for more damage. It's focusing on raiders anyway, but... And it's not doing too much against archers. So the Wyvern in fights would be pretty useless. So it's good that she's like a defense mechanism or anything. Dependent on the blade. The fuck? Thank you, Vambo Rambo, for the prime sub. Lots of love today. I like. Okay, lots of treants now. Hug doesn't have that much to spell. Five shaman. He also needs lightning shield. Okay, start with the first kill. Oh, the detonates on the shaman. That was sweet. Saves a couple, or trying to save a couple, but now they're all gone. No Dispel anymore. Is it time for Lightning Shield once more? No mana on this blade. Shadowhunter is okay at level 5. And one more heal wave, basically, and that's it. But he has to keep so much stuff alive, including himself, as he finds himself in an entangle. And down he is. Okay, the healer is gone. Level 5 Alchemist. This has to be it. This insane 37 damage keeper... With another and Tangle on the Kodo. Maybe too sure to get this and now even a shop. He's pushing this again. And this is Dancy's. Second time he kills this. And he still mined 400, invested 760. He basically paid off the first expansion. That's it. A town is under siege. Trap is not coming, but the push continues. Are under Close to ultimate. And there is a little... No, there's no disable. This tranquility will come through. And Hakka's supply stuck in a second. Acid bomb in the back. No Shadow Hunter. He's using all his mana on lightning shields, but these illusions have died too quickly. I think maybe a like a talisman of vitality would be nice to get more HP on the illusions. But the Blade Master dies. Double kill, man! In vain. What a game! That was not to be expected at all. Hug was. One of the best Orc vs. Nightlife players at a time. 
Sick. But he held. Huck's build was not the best build in my opinion. So he can play better and differently. But taking a map of, of no, uh, Huck is already good. So, do we have more results? Yes, we do. Or do we? <laughs> uh, PCG wins 2-0. And he's not in that group. Yumiko leads 1-0. Against the unknown... Human. Who wins 2-1? And Ice Orc leads 1-0 against Chao Kai. TH as well. Yumiko 2-0 actually. So he continues to this round. As we are waiting for our second game. What did it start already? Oh yeah, it started already. Um, we'll be unlocked in two minutes. Since we have two minutes of time, I love, 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 love the fact... Actually, not sure if I said this already, but that the Twitter community on... Uh, the Warcraft 3 Twitter community is growing. We have an... And uh, we have one. We have we have side. We have the clan of Oceanus, MTW, uh, of course, Ugri and us, and Joker and Kevin Schwem, and so many people. Insuperable, Spiral, uh, Scud, Andars. Like this is so much more fun with people on Twitter. I love the fact that finally the community there is growing, and you can comment and you can chit chat a little so shout out to anyone uh, who's involved so th wins map number one against Bo. huck is already qualified for tomorrow uh, uh, who is qualified for tomorrow sorry Wait, what? Oh, that was a little mistake. Um, so in the lower bracket, TBC is leading. PCG one against bike 2-0. That means that... Uh, I'll look that up later. Thank you, Pawanyu, for the 22 month resub. Is Remo gone on house arrest again? No, 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 he will be here tomorrow. And Thursday and Friday. Just today, it's me. So. We go on to map two. It's Terrana Stand. No surprise. The orc map. Wait, did it say Yumiko the entire time? It was of course hard. Why did, does nobody tell me that uh, I had the wrong overlay? Or wasn't it? I'm not sure. There we go, go. In vain versus Hulk. Maybe... First qualifier of the season and the first big surprise. Can't wait, man. The underdogs. We need more underdog successes in Warcraft. And having a new Chinese Night Elf wouldn't be too bad as life is retired. In, like, before the beginning of the season. Why not? New talents always appreciated. So, BM starts in the middle. Keeper goes for the safe route. That's pretty much the standard. In vain with the 21 supply trick that you know of StarCraft and from Foggy. 
Or pretty much everyone these days. First close of attack. Good start for Huck. And the second one is a close of attack as well. Plus 12 right away. And 50% of level 2. Again, no shop. So at one point he has to run back. He keeps the TP for now as well as he wasn't close to a shop thus far. So this time it is an earlier expansion. Wow. Before the first Huntress by Invain, But unfortunately for Invain, the Blade Master sees it right away. But he has level 2 and Entangle. No grunt backup. Oh, it's coming in now. Entangle, good damage. As I said, no healing items for Huck, and he can't risk that. Oh my, plus 14. So we're getting ready for the Huntress, and the Expo survives. Uh oh, the second sentry ward, man. Is it out of range? I think, no, so close. Oh boy. Not revealed anymore. He reveals himself. This is a town portal, right? Oh, it goes into wind walk. My, he's playing with fire. Re oh no, oh no, oh no. The dust is out of range. Got the slippers, by the way. And he gets away with the staff. Little mistake by Invain to not, not anticipating this. He would have known if he leaves via the north. Nicely done by Hark. His damage is surreal. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, this is a more normal game thus far, I think. With Spirit Lodge into Warmill and an earlier expansion, and again, Mass Hunts. Entangle again. How much does he have? Ah, oh, okay, that's the last one. He's not in danger. Thank you, Fruwald, for the sub. But tier 2 is late. And Huck, with that damage, and still some time as the expansion is making his way over, without Nature's Blessing, and he has to entangle. There is time for the Orc to gather strength. Mana. Huck is so lucky with the items in this game. Which is good, then we get a game three. This is always what we want. He even wants to protect it with an AP. Which shows that he knows how strong Huck will be. And staff out again. No refresher orb and walker. To prevent that. But the first attack upgrade and the alchemist is close. And the expansion starts to mine. So, in Vayne's position gets a little better. He still has to fight hard for this first defense upgrade. Are under and the first shaman. Plus a decent shadow hunter soon. Region also nice to have. So, is it the Alk? Would be the standard pick. Let's see it in the overlay anyway. Orcs love to push on this map, but Huck decides for an expansion. I felt like he could be strong enough. 
cool. With a couple more upgrades. And the fast 3-3 three, three he got. Wait, he's playing it solo now. Is he still not tier 2? He is tier 2. He doesn't have the resources for it. Why did he send an archer then? Maybe to fake? Yeah, this expansion is gone. But there's no way in vain can take a fight. No way. These losses, absolutely okay. He's going 1-1-1 one, one, one again. Shouldn't you go like Windwalk, Double Crypt, and then Illusions? The player's forces are under attack. I think that ha would have more impact. But okay. Expo is safe and mining. Like the lack of level 2 crit, especially with this inventory. And a couple of camps now still to take. I'm not too sure. If that's the best skill build he can hope for or go for. Push by Huck though. Town portal in. I think he's leaving a couple of treants to try to prevent the tower. Late master is in. First production building is gone and that helps so much from preventing the mass with the wisps. The game winning wisps maybe. First one outside of shaman range. They still have the purge. On so many serpent wards. Oh boy. These hunters don't do anything if they are in range. Same goes for the grunts basically. Almost a great surround. So it's a nice surround. Another purge. Another attempt. No TP. No potion. The block with the serpent ward up baby. Huck with the sweet place. The alchemist is way too late. The number of archers not high enough. Huck is killing shit left, right and center. Still no level 2 crit and waiting for the numbers. This poor alchemist with one armor gets cut into pieces and is dead. Who boy, that was a slaughter. Revenge for game one for sure. Thank you, Nexo, for the prime sub. That was a nice timing, even though the expansion failed. With well-timed hero progress to have the 3-3 ready when he needed it. And imagine this fight with crit 2 from the beginning. Lulzi has illusions too. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, he has plus 17 damage, but why go for crit 2, right? Okay, can he hold long enough? Uh, like, even the keeper can't change this anymore. And he's not coming back either. And the archers will just fall, if there's a dust, but I guess there isn't. No. So they can't hide. In vain is trying to stay in this. For whatever reason, trying to go to the tavern, but he has only one production building remaining as this one falls. And the perch is making sure that nothing gets away. He says, and then there's Shadow Melt. Good job. Cast a curse. You, you're striking again. Okay, I think he doesn't know about the expo and is trying to rebuild. But a loss against Orc on Terranas is not the end of the world. But okay, I can't see why this group is a little slower than the others though. Quite surprised that he's not going more for archers. Now he is! <laughs> So 
so much experience. And even a heal scroll. GG! 1-1! One, one. Man, the strength of Hug is back with the normal build and the normal execution. And his normal strength results in the normal outcome. And that's the 1-1 one, one now. Let's try to get in this game. No. Still not possible. Okay, did it start? Yes, it is. So in three minutes, we're going to map three. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, do we have more results? Yes, we do. And that is TH defeating Hurricane Bow. He will face who tomorrow in the final of this. So no mercy by TH. Who defeated Sons? So that is kind of the expected outcome, at least with TH. And I guess that's it for results so far from Group C. Ice Orc defeated Shao K 2 and 0. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So how can Venus win one? I don't know if Shao KK and wait, I just said that, right? That Ah, apparently there's a switcheroo. So <laughs> Oh, I have to look this up. So Ice Orc won his second game with two and one. They say it was against Shao K. Which means that I had the first result wrong. I'm sorry for that. I hope you can forgive me. Wait, no. Ah, 14 Sway was in the window. Yeah, okay. I made no mistakes, actually. So Shao K is out. Ice Ox survives around. And it was Shao KK against. 14 Sway, not Ice Orc, in the winner's part. And I don't know if that match started already because I have no result from there. <sighs> Hack is my spirit animal. Ha ha ha, this elf control is so bad, how the fuck he won versus Hug? Ah yeah, race elf. Well, maybe by dispelling in 0.01 seconds and playing really really good on map number one, maybe you shouldn't draw easy conclusions off of one map. Just an idea. And yeah, hating on Elf in 1.31 is so unbelievably stupid. Like, there's no reason for that. Seriously, there is not. Okay. Game has started! And I have nothing to drink anymore and need to survive this very next game without staying hydrated. Map is Concealed Hill. Oh, this could be a lengthy one. Score updated. In game loaded. Let's go. In the north, again, a keeper playing in vain. And no Farseer, sadly. We got a Blade Master by Huck. Oh, thank you, 
89 RMF for the 10 euro donation. Thank you guys so much for all the things you do for the community. Thank you very much to support this good cause. That is a blessing to have you guys here in the scene. So, Keeper, Engine of War creeping. Uh, pretty fast, actually. Gotta be careful. Ooh, wow, that was like... That was so close. That was so close. Huck was a little lucky in the early game to get Double Claw. From that moment on, he can pressure the Knight of so hard and punish his play. This time... Oh, actually, I have no idea what he got. Circle, circle is nice. Thank you, AFP1990, for the four month resub. Damn, that's a quite successful stream here today. Uh oh, this is bad for in vain. I sound like a sheep, but it really is bad. Tree and summon, no dispel, burrow, delayed, no second grunt. Blade Master can't do anything at the moment, but same goes for Huck. And he cancels. Oh, he punishes this play. With the second kill. He has no mana anymore, so he will retreat. But got level 2 with this, and still only one grunt on the field. Three and a half minutes in. That's brutal. Master was trying to get some revenge, but in vain is basically ready. 42 is tacking, so he goes back to the build of game one. With a late expo. As creeping is very hard here. It's understandable. I don't know about this move well position though. Can't really help him. Late Master steps in again, trying to hunt some wisps. <laughs> Drink the tears of whiners in chat. <laughs> I should, I should. Oh man, that's quite a few kills he got there now. He's not going to tier 3, and he's not... He doesn't need too much lumber. Actually, he does. He doesn't have a, lum uh, a Huntress Hall, so he's playing mass archers. He gets the kill, gets the kill. Oh, it's the Keeper, playing nicely around that, actually. Has a lot of mana as well, so it's absolutely possible to see an Entangle soon and then focus fire. There we go! Right click, right click, right click! Is it time for an invul or something? Not ready! The Blade Master is revealed and once again, arrow to the knee and falls! Man, Huck! That wasn't the smartest engagement, I think. Uh, I like that he sells the replenishment. This dust was... yeah. That's a problem for Huck now. Level 3 Keeper is ready. Unpunished. With only archers. So Huck, what does he build? He sees it's not the Huntress build. So it makes like not too much sense. What the hell? Fire Lord 2nd against Orc. From a night elf? He's towering him. He's towering him. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, a Fire Lord Tower Rush versus Orc with Treants and Lava Spawns at Mass Arches. Shop dead he has no clarity he has no mana potion he has no reinforced defenses ready yikes 
die Supply Stack at 28. What a timing! By in vain. Kill on the grunt. Kills a shop in the back. Okay, that's nice. But he has a grunt at the heroes. In free reign now. Oh my god. That worked out so much better than it should. <laughs> Mana Hunter's Hall. Nice. There's no reason to build it here. But I mean, why not? Summons are gone. There's no mana on this fire lord anymore. We would love to have a shop. Okay, this is another one. The barracks is the only production building. And now he realizes oh, it was not the uh, building I was looking for. Get the shop. Still holds on to mana for an entangle. The barracks is down. Hug has three units. Blade, Shadow, Grunt. Town is under siege. Wrapping around to get the shop to prevent clarities and more summons, which is nice. But at this point, what does he want to do? The Keeper is not even level 2. Doesn't have Serpent Wards or whatever. Now he gets it. Couldn't prevent the Archer kill. The Blade Master is fairly strong. Not nearly as strong as last game, though. It's nice how he cancels the shop, but... Oh, almost a block from this whiz. It's done. It's done, Huck is toast. Awesome how he saves the wisps. Actually makes sense to get the buildings here. Oh, that was, by the way, a totem. I forgot about that when I said he killed the only production building. Late Master exposes himself again. No mana. He can play around that a little, but now only one heal wave. Spirit Link helps, of course. Damn, what a fun series. That's a really cool tier 2, tier 3 Chinese battle between them. As I've never seen in vain before, that was nice to see him play. So now we have Engines of War here. We have a shop up. He can't protect that anymore. A town is under siege. Oh, he can't kill that anymore. Oh, oh, there's an entangle. It's ready. What does he want? Okay, he wants the base. He's not chasing. He's not getting distracted. Finally a shop again. <laughs> He's just building units. I thought he's gonna use it. Ah, okay. Yeah, to walk uh, to the stronghold and kill it or whatever, but... Oh, damn. Is there any way for Hug to win this? Huck can still advance from the lower bracket, of course. But that's the end of his winner bracket run, for sure. Ah, oh, wisps around, kind of. <sighs> yeah. There was no progress on the orc side in this entire game. Keeper, base, burrow, kill, supply stack, no grunts, no creep, nothing. And then, of course, you can punish this super hard. He, he had a fast tech with mass archers. The shop is, by the way, finished for Hawk, so he gets potions and clarities and stuff. Taking out one thing after another. If archers fall, okay. It's not the end of the world. Not at all. Reveal and tangle breaks with the invul. So expensive. The tower is gone. He built the hunter's hall. <laughs> well, then he can go for glaives, I guess. Hack is just refusing to give it up. I love it. Is he rebuilding more? He got the barracks back. <laughs> well, obviously. Okay. 
That was the last bit of healing. Entangle. Bye bye. Ah, I. Yep, level two Fire Lord. So, Soul Burn ready. GG. Man, upset of the day. In vain beating the. What was to be considered the favorite hug. In a nicely fashion. Good timings. Good control. Good game plan. That was a very, very, very solid game plan. Yeah. And once he was down, the spiral started and bye-bye Huck from the winner bracket. That means Invane is already there in the winner's final of Group D, waiting for his opponent, either Shao KK or 14 Sway. Damn, I didn't expect this one bit, to be honest. And we will see in vain, if not tomorrow, then on Saturday, where he will play in the um, Emperor Penguin Championship. And Huck, we will see later today in the lower bracket. Isn't that cool? I think it's a win-win situation for all of us. So, with that being said, I'm thirsty and hungry and need a little break. So bear with me, uh, feel free to check out the links in the stream description or the VOD description wherever you watch. Uh, you can follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, join our Discord, support us financially um, via Twitch sub or merch purchase or Amazon ref link. Usually you can donate, but today this goes all to uh, SoCal Bulldog in memory of In Control. So... Stay with me. The next game is coming up soon here in the WGL July. No, WGL Winter July Open Qualifier Round of 32 Group D. Yeah.